Welcome to another episode of Lake Davos Soul Spice. And tonight we are going erotic. Huh. Erotic. So, if your wife is not with you, if your husband is not with you, if your side chick or your side guy is not with you, if your pastor is around, let them know that Soul Spice is here. Because tonight, it's all about erotic. What exactly is this erotic thing that you want to know? What do you want to know that you think I want to talk about? That is making you sit down properly now. Because you're not sitting well before, but now you are. It's here that we die at the It's okay. <laughs> Please do follow me at Sex Talk with Soul Spice on Instagram and at Sex Toys with Soul Spice underscore on Instagram as well. And don't forget to follow us at This Is Pop Central, the only TV station that pops sex to your TV screen. Remember, all we do on this show is bring your fantasy to reality. So tonight is all about erotic. What is that one thing that can make you feel erotic? What is that one that can take stress away from you? What is that one that can make you feel relaxed at the same time? Can put you in trouble? What is that one that can make you feel like, oh God, this is life. At the same time, can make you cry. Hmm. It's just one word. But then, how you place it and where you place it solely depends on you, your mind, and your hands. So, what are we talking about? On this, I'm going to take a break. And when I come back, I'm going to be bringing in my very special guest and tell you what tonight's topic is going to be about. I'm not telling you now. Just hold on to the word erotic. Hold on to the word relaxation. Hold on to the word um, taking away of stress. Hold on to the word orgasm. Yeah, orgasm. Hold on to the word pleasure. Hold on to the word, you know, peace of mind. And at the same time, hold on to the word hands. Because those hands are blessed hands. You guys know that how can I guess where a hat and I don't have a hat on this. How is that possible? That is so spice does not have a hat tonight to match my guests. Anyway, she has to come back, right? That's the only way out. She has to come back. And when she's coming back next time, she has to tell me the color of the hat she's going to be wearing so that we'll have to wear the same thing. Right. So tonight I have with me a very special guest. She's pretty, she's hot, she is hmm, see those hands. Take your mind off it. Um, <laughs> she's a whole lot. I'm gonna I'm gonna allow her, you know, speak for herself who she is, but her name is the one and only dummy pen. I still don't know why she's using dummy pen. She should be using dummy hands or dummy erotic or something. But I don't ah. know why dummy pen. Good evening, dummy. Good evening. So tell us, tell us who you are basically and why Dami Pen. Uh, my name is Dami. I'm Dami Pen because so Pen is an extraction from my surname. Oh, really? Akbeno. So A P E N A. Hmm. So if you remove the two, can you A's, imagine from your to English? <laughs> oh Jesus! If you remove the two A's, we have Pen. Then I write. Okay. I've written about three books. I've published three books. So I what are what are what are the books about? They are inspirationals. Okay. I wrote them first twenty thirteen, then twenty fifteen and twenty sixteen. So you stopped writing and followed your hands. <laughs> your hands are very that's your hands exactly. your hands have been very magical from, from childhood, I guess. Uh for massage, no, I don't think so. Uh, you were writing before now. I was writing, yes. <laughs> now okay, you, maybe magical. Now you write people's lives. <laughs> In, I can in, say in, that. In, in, in seconds and minutes. Yes. Right? So how did you find yourself doing this? Uh, 2015, I joined a dance club, Spirits okay. of David uh, Okay, I think that's, that's, a, that's a popular name. Yes, SOD. So my, I remember my first day of dance, I was, my legs could not move because we were doing a lot of stuff. So I had a boyfriend at the time. <laughs> Mommy, so, are you there? <laughs> so I had a boyfriend at the time. He came to pick me up um, there, and then we went to his hall together. I was like, my legs can't move. So he literally almost carried me from the dance floor down to his hall, and he gave me a massage. Uh, of course, with my clothes on. He did a massage for maybe about... Did you ask for that part? <laughs> mm. No, because, I mean, what we know as massage now... Can I go No, ahead? no, yeah, of course, please, please. <laughs> okay. If, if the ad should fall now. <laughs> when, when my aunt is not here, what, what do you think would happen? 
He you gave you massage. <laughs> we clothes on and the hat went off. Anyway. So the hat is trying to tell us something. <laughs> we get it. We get it. Okay. So he did it for about 15, 20 minutes. And I couldn't even stand up for that. So I was like, ah, you have quickly ruined my life. Uh, but then about, so I slept for about 30 minutes. By the time I got up, my body was light. My leg pain was gone. My everything disappeared. Uh, I was like, and that's my first time of somebody giving me a massage. I didn't even know what massage was, <laughs> to be honest. And that was it. So every dance rehearsal, we rehearsed Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. You give me massage, and so that was how I was able to continue the dance, mm. and and that was how I knew about massage. So I started giving my dance club members. I'll just like help them compress their legs. I just enjoyed it's relieving me. people. So whenever mm -hmm. if you're walking right now, or you're my friend in my class, and you're having back pain, I just tell you, lay, just find a way. I'll just press your back for you. I was I enjoying think my back it. Is <laughs> So I was enjoying relieving people, like you're in pain. I don't want to hear it. Mm. I was just, so I was doing that over 2015, 2016, 2017 for free. I didn't even know it was a business. <laughs> I didn't know it was a business. I didn't learn it at mm. the time. And then in 2017, February, my friend had an accident. He was living opposite my house. I was mm -hmm. in Lagos to sell my books then. So I was called to... Uh, I was called from Ibadan, because we were very close, right? Okay. So I was called that he was in UCH, he broke his back, and he was going to be like bed rest for six months. Oh, wow. And he's a hustler like me. Mm. He would, I don't know, he wouldn't survive can't six say, yeah. months on the same spot. Mm. So he told them to take him, to discharge him. So he came home and I saw him. I didn't even, I, so because massage was always relieving me yeah. and then relieving people. When I saw him, I was like, you should have stayed in the hospital. He said, damn, I can't survive it. I said, okay, there's this thing that they used to do for me and I used to do for people. Now, I don't know what will happen if I start doing it for, for you, you, but I would dedicate my time every day. So every morning, I'll go there, I'll do 30 minutes on him. I'll just use um, oil on his body. So we did 30 minutes. So after... It was supposed to be in bed rest for six months, right? Yeah. After two, after three weeks, he was able to stand. Hmm. This was someone that his spine was already injured, and they told him like he has because your body heals naturally. Yeah. So he was supposed to just lay there. His, his bones will naturally align. Then he'll probably get some physiotherapy yeah. after six months or so. That was the normal procedure. So I didn't even know what I was doing. I was just doing. So. Um, 30 minutes in the morning, 30 minutes in the evening, every day. For the first three weeks, he was able to stand. His girlfriend was asking me, ah, how? Is this safe? I said, I don't know if it's safe. <laughs> Please don't tell your doctor that he can stand <laughs> yet. But he could stand, he could not move. Mm. Um, so but he could stand for like maybe five minutes before he falls, falls back, and all yeah. of that, because his spine was, he had to be careful. Yeah. So after five weeks, um, he was able to move his wow. legs. But of course, he's not started using scrotches. Yeah. It was such a development for him and for us. Um, about the sixth week or so, I was called that they caught him somewhere in Budija in Ibadan. Oh, God. He was, and he was motivated to walk. Oh. So he walked out and then collapsed on the road. Because his body had not yeah, healed yeah. completely, but he was motivated and all that. And the massage had like, completely almost helped him. About the seventh week, he got back to work. So we oh. took, we reduced six months to Seven. less than two months. Wow. Then I knew that. This is a calling. It's like I have a calling <laughs> in this thing. I, mean, I didn't even know it will work. Yeah. It was just a guesswork. And that was it. And yeah. even after that time, I was, I was always still giving people massage. I, everything was for free. I did for him. I didn't know. His mom came back to me, but she was like, let me pay you. I said, ah, it's my friend, though. I didn't even know that they could pay for massage. <laughs> Sometimes I'll just think so imagine like, how much you would have made. Thank you. If, if and I was a paid, student. Yeah. And I mean, I was a hostler. If I knew, I would have charged you maybe 3, 3K or 5K that time. Yes. It would have been something. It would have been over 100K, basically. You understand? If, if, from if, him. Yeah. But I'm glad I did it. I made an attempt. It worked for him. Yeah. 
doubting. His name is doubting. He'll be forever grateful to me. He's always saying it anytime because that means I can't forget you. <laughs> because without you, I probably won't be here. And, <laughs> yes. and, and, and that's a whole lot. And that's, it. that's That's life changing. So after afterwards, you went into it professionally. Yes, yeah, so I, I was coming to Lagos March 2018, and I was told by someone that you do massages, right? I said, yeah. I was like, do you know you can make money from it in Lagos? I said, make money from pressing people's body. How? He was like, no, it's a business. Yeah. I said, no, I don't think so. So he said, okay, that he knows um, a massage boss in okay. Lagos. Like his company is one of the leading companies, and he trains people. Oh, good. He also employs freelancers for their massage. I was like, okay, connect me. Let me go and work. <laughs> uh. So I came, I came to do a job, but then I went for the interview, and I massaged the man, and he slept off on the table. Oh. And I was even scared. They are, they are I was like... <laughs> You have killed him. Of, that day, he told me, he said, you're hired. Freelance. I no said, story. I have a job. So he said, weekends, blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, that was how I started, freelancing. Then in May, I resigned and then decided to go for the training from him. In fact, he told me he wasn't going to train me. I said, no, I need the knowledge. I need yeah. the confidence on the job. I can't work without knowing what I'm doing. I don't even know what I'm doing. Yeah. I'm just doing what I'm doing. So I decided to take training from him and then about three, four other schools together. So today we have Dami Pen. We have the Lagos Massage Therapist. <laughs> the one who touches you. Yes. And you are off. Yes. I think I have to come for massage at this point. Please do. I really, I really don't do massages like that. Okay. Uh, because I feel... I've done one or two, and only one made sense to me, basically, you know, but afterwards, I've not done. I always like to do with my husband so that, you know, both of us do at the same time, but most people will say, well, one person, one person, and if you probably see most um, spa that does two people, when they give you a prize, you will think about it again. It's not just to press body. I'm playing to press your body in bed. More than just pressing body. I know, I know, because I also did courses on it. I trained also as the ball. Mm. <laughs> it, it's, it's not, I, I don't think I'm that patient, really, basically. Because for me, everything is, I think my brain is erotic, kind of. So, <laughs> I'm like, if I want to really do massage, I have to do massage, you know. Well, you know, I am you're married. naked, I'm naked, you know. <laughs> but it cannot be a public thing. So, I just, you know, let me do my massage. In house, you know, it's better. Anyways, um, that's all you have heard, you know, and all you probably will hear from Dami, you know, based on her journey to who she is. On this one, we're going to be taking a break, and when we come back, we're not going to be talking proper about this job she does and how this has impacted her life and the life of millions of Nigerians. And if this is your first time. Hmm, let me just tell you the truth. You have missed plenty. Plenty because Dami Pen has been dishing out a whole lot and you're just joining. But anyways, it's still okay. You can still watch. But then for the part you have missed, just wait for the replay within the week and towards weekend so that you can always get all the information you didn't get in the first place. Right? So yes, I have me my very special guest, Dami Pen, who happens to be... Hmm. The lady with the gifted hands. That's how I call it. Yes, yeah. gifted hands. Those hands that when they touch you. So, let's go back to, <laughs> to what you do, right? Okay. So, why that name? Which name? Your name on IG. Why Lagos Massage Therapist. Yeah. Why Lagos? Uh, because I'm in Lagos. <laughs> 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 to be honest, I'm not... Quite sure. I think I changed the name 2021 or so because I was Dami Pen yeah. on Instagram. Okay. And I just use hashtags. So I figured that I was always posting, running ads and all that, but keywords. Mm. So there needed to be keywords in my, in my name. Yeah. So I just thought about it. Okay, I'm in Lagos, massage therapist. And I said for it, nobody was bearing the name. So, yes. so, right. so how long have you been doing this now, professionally? About six years. Six years. So tell me, come on, just me. I know you have seen a whole lot. <laughs> because, you know, that, that's the mindset that people who are into this business are 
bronze girls, yeah. you know, prostitutes, anything sex related, massage, we all are shows kind of. Yeah. You know me, I've accepted my own to be a married show at this. My show is in my <laughs> husband's house. I'm still doing the same thing. I was born for sex. Mm -hmm. I teach and I have sex for a living. So anything you want to say? Do you understand? Right. So for so people like you, right, how has it been in the last six years massaging people? You know, I, I want to hear stories about happy ending. Because okay. I hear there's no massage with a happy ending. You know, and <laughs> you know, it's so shocking that a lot of, you'll be sure that a lot of people don't even know what happy ending is. Yeah, I remember one time I had, I met with someone who went, you know, for massage and the actor said, oh, what would you like? Do you want happy ending? She was like, oh, give me everything. She didn't, this one was in, was in her 50s. You know, she was like, give me everything. Oh, yes, I do. I want it. And, you know, after the massage and they started touching, like, what are you doing? I said, well, we asked you if you want to happen. Like, is this happy ending? <laughs> this is evil. No. You know, and you know, for us, we're like, so, so why would they even call it a happy ending? Then in her head, she, she felt she was going to sleep happy, off. Yeah. She would feel happy. That's what it should you know. be. Uh, Okay. That's I mean, when they say happy ending. Anything happy ending has a happy ending. Mm. Doesn't so when so I think the term happy ending has been they probably before I was born. Definitely. Uh, but in massage, it's different. Just in massage. Okay. But you can have like I'm writing a book. The happy ending of my book is that it's, it's launched. That's mm. a happy ending. Yeah. A happy ending is the ending that is happy. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with the result. That's what it's supposed to be. So you asked about my experience with it. At first, it was tough. I think I made a post about it yesterday on Instagram. Okay. And at first, it was very tough. Very, very tough. Why, why, why tough? Because every request I was getting oh, okay. was always... There'll, there'll be chats, right? Mm. How much is it? What's this? And then they'll just spoil it with, I hope I'll get a hand job. I hope I'll get a good job. And I wasn't in for that. Yeah. I was, I'm not even here because I'm hungry. I'm not here because I, I'm, 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 I feel like I'm led into massage industry, right? So I needed to not displease the man that sent me, mm. the God that sent me. So then naturally, I'm not loose. <coughs> So I mind myself, and I know that money will come. Of course. So when it was when it was very tough for like the first, I think I ran out of my training in June 2018. Um, for like the first six months, all the clients I worked on were clients of my boss, the man that I was freelancing yeah. for, mm. and there may be a couple of other people that started partnering with me directly. Everyone that was chatting me wanted happy ending. And, and of course, you're with young. the other, with the with the people I was freelancing for, I was getting like thirty percent of the pay. Okay. With me, I would get the full payment, but they yeah. were not ready to pay. You They're know, not happy maybe anything. one of maybe one client in a month. That's my personal client. You know, two clients a month, and all of that. So there was always requests for happy ending, and I understand. I was trained right mm. to understand when somebody asks you for a happy ending, don't take offense. It comes with the job. Sure. So the, the, the request comes with the job. The, you deciding to do it is now the... It's left to you. It's left to you. So you can choose to do it. You can choose not to do it. So I chose not to do mm. it. And I was never tempted to do it. I, I don't care. At some point, it was, my life was becoming like nothing was happening. No clients, nothing. I, I did <laughs> and nothing was going to make me even give yeah. a stranger a hand job, much less sex. Yeah. It's not possible. So, so do you think, because, you know, there's this belief system that when you have a spa that has loads of clients, there probably is happy ending happening there. I think it depends on the owners of the spas. Actually, most spas in Nigeria... Mm. Let me not generalize for the... No, you said most now. <laughs> still not generalizing. Most spas in Nigeria that are not med spas. The med spas, I can say that they are not exactly doing a happy ending because okay. they are more of... Uh, oh, so we have different types of spas. Yeah, well, they are those that they call med spa. Those ones, they tend to do some clinical okay. massages on you. Um, those ones, they are very focused. Mm. But all these other spas that came in for the money, because there's money in the industry, right? In order to be able to drive in some kind of clients, 
you have to be able to give happy ending. Now, mm. I believe, and I always tell the students I train, and I was trained that way that for a massage therapist to choose to be given happy ending, you're not good enough mm. as a massage therapist. If you're good enough, your work is good enough they will come back. to retain serious clients. That was how I was trained, and that's how I trained my students. Mm. You, if you're good, you don't need to give it. The person that did not get a hand job, because you relieved him of his pain or stress the first time, he will call you yeah. back, no matter how pissed he is about the fact that you didn't give him a happy end. Sure. So all my clients, um, maybe from the time I started getting clients, right, um, then marketing increased and all of that, and then, of course, God, I would say that at first, maybe about 60% of my clients really wanted happy ending. Like, mm. they will call me again and be like, Dami, consider now. Dami, consider. <laughs> like, I still we know have you one, are good, but... I still have one client that has placed an order tonight. I think he stopped asking me for happy ending maybe towards mid last year, since 2019, that he has wow. been getting massages. Almost every session, he said, Dami, I'm still waiting for that day. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because, of course, yeah, happy ending, it's okay, because touch stimulates... Yeah these things right sure. and it's normal we don't take offense with a lot of things that mm. random people take offense with so yeah so 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 now over the years you've been able to sustain yourself doing this right and um despite the fact that you know a lot of people you know so i, I want to find out right so when i say a lot of people are we talking about men only or men and women wanting happy ending men and women <laughs> so how do you deal with women basically because i understand the aspect of okay man you're like ah uncle i don't even know you women you know there's worse. no connection and you want me to start touching you you know but how do you deal with a woman no i think i can understand men that ask me for happy end really <laughs> how so explain to me no, I mean, because it's normal, you're male, I'm female, yeah. only you and I in the room. Exactly. I'm touching you. The only place I'm avoiding is literally your, your penis. Yes. Yeah. Right? So, yes, my touch. But when females ask me for happy ending, I'm like, look at me, I'm very strict. <laughs> <laughs> like, you're right on fire, do. <laughs> I'm straight. I'm very, 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 very straight. You can still be straight and There was a job. day that a lady, she was very cute and all of that, and she asked for happy ending. Apparently, she did not want to cheat on her man oh. with a man. So she, she wanted to cheat with a woman. <laughs> we wanted to. No, she, if she does, whatever she does with me, she won't consider it cheating. Oh, because same sex? Yeah. Oh, okay. Correct. So, <laughs> that yourself. was according to her. Yeah. That was like probably yeah. 2020 or 2021. And, and she offered me a lot of money, a lot of money, just for that one off thing. Okay. And then I was like, I'm sorry. Um. <laughs> she was like, even just, just put your hand, just stimulate me. Just, I said, if I stimulate you, you want me to finish the job. Exactly. <laughs> It's not possible I stimulate you and then I leave you halfway. It's exactly. worse. Yeah. Let me not touch you at all. at all. And I don't, I'm personally not, I don't vibe with women like that. Naturally. Yeah, very much straight. less, much less getting attracted mm. to women sexually. No offense to the LGBTQ guys, but nah, I'm sorry. It's, it's not you. It's not me. So, so, so now, so do you also, so for instance, you have a female who says, I want happy ending. Do you have any other option for them? Knowing fully whether you're not going to do it. Um, so what, what, when I say other options, I mean probably like, do you have sex toys? No. They can just buy off the rack. Okay, you know, buy this and enter that room and touch yourself, you know, rather than have me touch you. Uh, well, a couple of people have used sex toys on themselves whilst I was massaging. Really? Yeah. Kiss me out to me. Do they come with their toys? Like, I don't get. Uh, I'm not, I don't think I waited for them <laughs> to come. No, no, like, I so they come so. for massage and they carry their toys with them. No, they order. It's home service. Oh, okay, okay. So you're in okay. your house. Oh, okay, okay. As long as I'm not the one using the toy on you. Mm. It's okay. Whatever you want to do. Whatever you want to do. It's your house. Do it. You pay me and I do my, and yeah, I go. Exactly, and I do my job. So they don't feel like you're there? No, they do. But 
And they are very young people. They're not old women. That's and you know that young people have these fantasies. So I... Young Probably they want you to watch them, that kind of... They can, yeah, no? I'm okay. Do whatever you want. As long as my one hour is complete and we I'm don't not have moved. a problem. And I'm not moved. When Whatever people are doing in the room, mm. when I'm there, I, once I walk out of your house, I forget. I think it's a mindset Both thing. men and women. I think it's a mindset thing. And the fact that, you know, you get to a point where you train yourself. Yeah. It's like me going for a session and something erotic is happening... I don't get turned on. I just want to do my job and go. Yeah. Like when I step out, I step out. Yeah. When I'm in a session, I'm in a session. Yeah. So no matter how much you cry, no matter how much you feel the pain, no matter how much I feel your pain, the moment I drop that call or we are out of session, I refresh my brain. Like, you know what? Oh, yeah. Back to motherhood. My children need me. You know, exactly. I have a way of detaching myself from that emotion. But if you are not careful, you will carry it yeah. all along. The thoughts. You know, and for someone like you who is pretty young, you know, who is there and, you know, who feel, you know, there's a mindset that when you give money, you will fall. Yeah. You know, a, a lot of people will tell you, oh, everybody has a price. You know, they've not, they've not, they've not gotten to that point where that money will hit them. But I always say, everybody might have a price, but there's some people that no matter how high that money is, it's a decision, you know, it's who they are. To be honest, 2000 and, uh, 2020, shortly before COVID, or maybe late 2019, I had this client, he's probably a billionaire, I don't know, but he was so stimulated, so turned on, and he was like, you have to complete the job. Mahala. <laughs> and I said, I'm not completing any job, once we finish our 90 minutes, we are done. Yeah, go on. So he, he asked me, how much do you want? I'll give you 500 k That was a lot of money at the time. Yeah. I think my monthly income at that time was roughly around that. 2021? Yeah, 2020, no. Yeah, roughly around that 500. I like, can't give me a whole month money. Just like that. And he doesn't want sex, so. Just, but not just hand job, Sha. He just wants something, but of course, I will not allow penetration. That yeah. was what he wanted. I said no. He was like... I'll give you one million. And Sex can make you do stupid things. <laughs> like, Jesus, you don't, you don't care about... And then I said no. And I will not lie. At some point, they talked about, ah, but in the woman, I didn't have a car at the time. Yeah, I was saving something. for my car. I was like, ah, I can, nobody's here. I can use this money. <laughs> and then the massage ended. It was like, okay, the massage ended. And then he went inside, brought out his check. And told me, write any amount you want. I don't want, I want you, think. Oh, I'm like, blank check. Is it right any amount you want? Ha! I looked at the check. <laughs> Look this that. is the devil speaking. Look at my Christian life. Oh, Lord. Look at my life. Are you there? I'm like, ah, what does the check go and bounce? Mm -hmm. What if you do anything and then check bounces? Oh, my. That, that would, <laughs> that kind of pain. Oh, my God. That, it, it go bounce, so it go bounce. Because that kind of pain, that kind of anger is, is a no no. <laughs> Just you would regret it, you would feel bad. Yeah, if and then you would blame bounces. yourself. And then what do you even want to tell people? Yeah. That you did what? Free. And they gave you fake check. Yeah, because the, the, the estate said you can't even go back angrily. You have to go to access code, everything. So there's nobody. So you not say I did get that. <laughs> I did this for you. you. Then besides that. Apart from that, I feel like it was quite tempting, to be mm, honest. Yeah. But I, I, I don't even know how I resisted that. No, that's that's the that's the highest. I did. If if you actually went, like he finished, he finished the massage. He was done. I was about packing. He just said, "Write any amount you want. I want this." Mm. Huh? I would have written maybe five million. I know. <laughs> or no ten million. No mommy, no daddy. No nobody was there. Nobody would judge you. I was even single at the time. Even though I was like, God, forgive me. You know I have to. Ah. It is well. Though. I was single. So when people tell me everybody has a price, mm. I've been told that several times. But I always say something like, I'm bigger than money. True. Sure. There's no amount of money that you want to pay me that if I don't have it right now, I will not still have it. Mm. You understand? So it's, I think it's a mindset. I think for you it was more of a consequence. You know, 
flashing in front of you that what if? What if? Okay, collect money. Check, bounce. No, I wasn't <laughs> going to do that check. I wasn't going to do it. No, I know. But I then, know, but... because it was a blank check, mm. and because I was like, ah, ah. You know, you are, you know, at that point, you had thought about the end yes. already. Yes. Before even writing. Yes. You know, what if I write yes. and this check and bounces? I do whatever. What yeah. if there's no money? Yeah. You know, what if it's just, ah, uh, no. Yeah. The, you know, there's something, you know, they say that when something happens to you, mm -hmm. I always ask the question, what is the worst thing that could ever happen? That could ever happen. Yeah. And the moment you can hold on to the worst, mm -hmm. I don't think there's any other thing that can hold you down at that point, the moment you have held on to the worst mm -hmm. thing. Anyways, uh, it's been a very fantastic night. Trust me, um, that my pen is putting us on that hot seat, that she has no prize, right? Um, so let's see, let's see what's going to happen, right? Um, I will offer her money, not, not blank check, <laughs> not blank, okay, blank check too. I'll offer her blank check. If you offer me blank check, now run your bankrupt because now my mouth is big. Yeah, <laughs> no blank check. If you're just joining, I want to say welcome to the show. Um, you have missed a whole lot, a whole hour. Do you know what that means? You cannot pass the exam. She, you know, even if you decide to try the exam, you only get half because you, you, you only have access to another half of this episode anyways you have within the week and weekend to watch the replay of this episode for the part you have missed you have missed a whole lot and see that part you have missed hmm, it's 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 a very important part that you cannot let go because you need those informations trust me so anyways um we are back and we're still talking about massage in lagos and basically in nigeria because she didn't really start in lagos but then she's based in lagos now so all of you who are in Lagos and you go for massage, anywhere you do it, stop. Go and look for Dami and go and try her own out first. Before you say, the spa I use is good. Mm. Try her hands out, then you cannot compare. You see that you'll never go there again. That being said, take it. So, that is, <laughs> back, back to this, right? So, you own a spa now, right? Yeah. And so, how do you run your massage business? Do we have to book? Can we just walk in, you know, um, can we come in as a couple? Is it just one person? Since we now know clearly that there's no happy ending, right? So I want to know how do we book, what kind of massage do you do, and everything about it. So um, we have a spa in Ikeja. Okay. Um, but I'm not there all the time because I live on the island. But most times um, my girls are there. And sometimes when clients want me, they because will... we want you now, Abby. <laughs> cannot come and tell us that you now give us your staff. No, they will wait until I have time to come down to the spa. Okay. So I won't say that the spa I'm mostly in spa. I think I'm like ninety five percent home service, oh. home hotel service, okay. and I have a team. So yes, anybody can book. If you want to get massage with your husband in your house, or if you come to the spa, yes, there's space, room for two. Mm -hmm. Both of you can get massage at the same time. You and your boyfriend, you and your girlfriend, just you alone, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Then the types of massages, there's different types of massages. We, there are so many massages, actually. Mm. But mostly, uh, I do relaxation massage, pain relief massage, hot tones massage, um, sports massage. And which other massages? Aromatherapy massage, mm -hmm. different types. But generally, the ones that most people do, most people don't really have time for hot stone, blah, blah, blah. All those yeah, things. I was going to ask you, wouldn't you? Because they're just tired. Please, are you available? I need a massage, exactly. blah, blah, blah. So, yes, so that's, so we do mostly stress relief and pain relief. That's Swedish and deep tissue massages. So, so what, 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 what is this hot stone massage for, basically? What is it for? Um, the heated stones help you relax more just because of that mm. warmth okay. on your skin it goes into your mood. a lot of people that get like, like hot stone massages enjoy the feel of that heat and the way we use the heat stones to just get through the mm. whole body okay so it's basically just for more relaxation so when, when you do home service do you charge per area yeah. do you use area to charge yes mm. it's distance Okay, so this is from Ikeja or from the island to the place? For instance, from, I stay in VI. Okay. 
from VI to Lekki, for instance, I won't charge the same amount as VI to Aja okay. because that's more fuel. Yeah. I won't charge the same amount from VI to mainland. Mainland, and there are different types of mainland. What do you mean? What, what do you mean by that? What, what <laughs> okay, do you mean by that sorry. statement now? No, like there's VI to Bagada. Mm -hmm. That's like 30 minutes drive. Okay. Uh -huh. And there's VI to Ikeja. Uh -huh. Like 45 minutes to uh -huh. one hour drive. And there's VI to like Abuliegba. <laughs> uh -huh. uh -huh. <laughs> Those ones. Yeah, I take the orders once in six months. Because no. So you're not available? For those areas. So if you say VI to Badagri? I've never been to Badagri. I always get the orders, but go for it. <laughs> See levels, though. No, it's not levels. Where am I? It's off ahead now. <laughs> what do you mean? Am I not paying for it? No. But I agree. Wait, let me say what I want to say. No. There's strain now. <laughs> Respect to yourself. There's strain now. See, someone in Lekki will pay higher than someone in Bad Agree. And Lekki is just 10 minutes what? away from me. But I agree is like two hours away from me. <laughs> More stress, more petrol. I'd rather sleep, so I don't have an so order. all my people in Badagri, it's, ta it's <laughs> time. I'm, no, 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 it's time no. to start booking. If she gives you a price, tell her I'm going to double it or triple it. <laughs> I what do you mean? I would never go to Badagri. <laughs> ah, damn, we are being into Badagri. <laughs> are you in Badagri? <laughs> I don't have to be in Badagri, but you are insulting Badagri. Ah, ah. No, I'm not insulting Badagri. I'm just saying that there's nothing I'm going to do in Badagri. But you can go to Aja. Yeah. You can go to after Aja. Yes. Can you go to Korodu? I used to, but no. Oh, now you are, you are too big. It's also the same stress. And of course, less pay. Because of your move to Aja. <laughs> no, I move to Kurudu or Badagi. I won't come. I will pay you. Blank check. Ask all my clients. I don't take the Kurudu orders. Blank check, go. Uh, well, I will write the check. Only. <laughs> See, I will cash it You out. cash it first. <laughs> they not tell you, oh, I'm See, sorry, my car. Serious. Going to Gorodru is taking half of my day, at least True. half of my day. Basically. I'll go and work on four clients for one Ikorodu client. Hmm. What if you pay then for the traffic, the, four the stress. It's not worth it, let me know. Ah. It's not worth it. How much do you want to pay? Even with the blank check, so if it's not worth it's it. It's not worth it. No, but with the blank check, it may be worth it. No, no, because, because there's some kind of money. I'm tired, they'll just get a driver. No, but there's a kind of money you will get that the stress you will go through. It's you say, you know what? It's not worth it's it. Not worth it. So imagine sitting in traffic for like six to eight hours. Yeah. Just because you are getting one blank check yeah. and they're going to myself just one person. Yeah. So, well, if I don't get money today, tomorrow God will bless me. Let me sleep my sleep. It's really not, it's really not a trust me. Okay. So aside that now, so how long should a normal massage go for if we really want to have a massage? About an What's hour. the minimum? Well, it depends on what people book for. People book for 30 minutes. But I don't take 30 minutes orders. My orders are for one hour, cause thirty minutes have to pay. It doesn't make sense. Except you pay my one hour for thirty minutes. That's fine. But from but if you come to the spa, Damn, you're no, because I mean I, say, I, don't, I, I don't, don't lie. I don't like to tell lies. So good. I don't like to tell lies. So if you come to the spa, for instance, you can get a thirty minutes massage. I go to spas mm -hmm. for thirty minutes massages. Oh, you go to spa? Yeah. Why? I get massage every day. I have to get massage every day. Why? Because I work hard every day. <laughs> but, but shouldn't you just get massage from your girls or something? Uh, I do. And even from my male colleagues. Mm. I do, but I have to get massage. So my sister is on the massages me every day. Like five out of seven days in a week. My like sister, because I've trained her to how to treat me. Mm. So yeah, so a, a typical massage is about an hour, basically. But it depends on people. For instance, before I came to the studio, mm. I did a four-hour, 40-something minute session. Why? That's the way he likes it. Is he pregnant? No. <laughs> How many budget? That's the way he likes it. So it depends on the people. Four hours. Oh, wait, oh, Actually, wait. the massage will be like roughly four hours, 15 minutes, but sometimes we stretch. So wait, I don't understand. So you massage fingers separate for 30 minutes or how? It depends, but I go through every muscle, every every part. Because he exercises, so okay. and then he likes, it to be just sort it out. Mm. Money is not the problem. 
So it depends. So some people like to uh, massages. Some people like. I don't but think definitely I... they will sleep off. Some people don't. Ah, that person must be wicked. It's not wicked. Uh -uh. This is my client that does the longest massage. He doesn't, he doesn't sleep. If he sleeps, he has never slept since I've been treating him. Uh. And he, he will tell you he will never sleep because he wants to know what you're doing. So anytime mm. you make a mistake, he wants to correct you. Because you will not waste four hours on the table and then he's out and then his legs are aching or something. Are you kidding me? Yeah, so he wants, he likes to pay attention. Wow. Yes, so. Oh, I know why you're not going to buy that girl and code, though. No, I can't go to that girl and code. I'm sorry. I follow just the crazy people. You, no, don't worry, don't worry. Those in code, you can't meet in Lekki, don't worry. We are, we are. Well. They are coming. They are welcome. They are coming. So, so now, the minimum anybody should get is 30 minutes. So, how long should one get a massage for? So, for instance, um, how many times a week basically should one get a massage for? So should it be question, weekly or monthly? So this question depends on about three things. Okay. First, on how much you need it. Okay. So if, you're, if your work life is quite demanding, um, maybe you're always mentally stressed or something, you can get massage twice a week. Mm. It depends on how you need it, on how much you need. I have clients that book every week. I have clients that book twice a week. Um, this is my longest client. He does like every other day because he massages, he exercises every day. Yeah, exactly. So he does massage every other day and long sessions. But wait, I thought they said um, things are quite hard during this period. Eh, not for everybody. Ah. My clients are premium people. Shout out to my clients. <laughs> I think I need to join the club. That's your client's club. I need to come and join that my club. My clients, uh, the economy is not affecting them. No, it, it should not. Because even, even if we increase prices, although for me, I would say that no matter how much I increase my prices to, because I, my work goes with the flow of mm. the price. I, I charge probably lower than the value I give. So no matter how much I increase, but I tell my clients, the price is now so so amount. They'll be like, okay. Because they know what they're getting. Exactly. I'm sure they get, they would, they would pay more. You know, yeah. somewhere else, I'll be like, you know, Dami does better, and then just stick to her. Of course, I have a lot of them like that. Then, so first, how much you need it, so it depends on you. Then secondly, affordability. Mm. A lot of people need massage every day, but they can only afford once a month. So like how much should one look at, you know, if you have to get a massage? On paper, generally, mm. at least once a month. Mm. That's what we are trained to tell people, okay. at least once a month. But me, I have to get every day, for instance, because I'm using my body every day, actively. Mm -hmm. I'm tired. Um, you have to stand. I have to stand. I have to walk, drive, do all of that. So every day, I have to get a massage. Um, so affordability. I, if, for instance, if you need massage every day, and your salary is 250K, and you live in maybe, your expenses alone is like 100 and something K. <laughs> For you to get massage, you probably not even able to get massage from me because my price is not exactly small. So you probably get massage from a normal spa where they charge maybe like 20, 25K. Once a month is what you can mm. afford. So affordability. Then thirdly, on so most people get massage, or a lot of people get massage on, depends on how much they love it. Okay. So they don't exactly always need it. They can easily afford it. So they just, I have clients that just love my massage. And that may come tomorrow. It makes them feel relaxed. Exactly. So okay. on how much you love it. On, but generally, everybody should be getting massages. It's required mm. for long life. I think I need to incorporate that card. I think I've it's done required like for once long or twice, life. and I'm like. Um, I have quite a number of clients, especially females, and I would say that to a lot of females, mothers should be getting massages. Like we deserve it. Yes, especially if you're still in your 30s and 40s. Why? Because most of my 50s plus clients that are females. Uh, now have like arthritis that you're dealing with, mm. have some arthritis of the shoulder, arthritis of this, arthritis of that. And arthritis is a lot of, it's really common in most women nowadays. Even me now, I'm, 
I don't know, getting it into my head that maybe when I clock 50 or so. Mm. Why? Because women stress themselves a lot. And they don't, they don't see it. take care of themselves with massage. True. Men, 98% of my clients are men. Mm. Men like to take care of themselves. Men like to get massages. Before a man can buy clothes, they would get a massage. They probably get like three, four massages, especially the comfortable men. Mm. For a woman to get massage, she probably desperately needs it and she's already completely tired for a, a, an average woman yeah. to get a massage. Even calculate money is safe. Yes, exactly. You would rather use your money to buy handbag on Instagram. I should be. Than give massage therapists <laughs> 40, 50k mm. for one hour. Women, that's the way we think. I'm a woman. I think. No, no, we, we think that way. <laughs> we think too much yeah. about it. But in old age, we suffer for it. Mm. Most of my male clients don't have the problems that most of my female clients do. And that's because from the time they've been taking care of themselves. They exercise. Women don't exercise. Men exercise. Men get massages. Men would go watch ball, enjoy. Do women were always working. Weekend is that I take stress off. You understand? But women, kids, kids, kids. Who do I even... Exactly. Too much. So if there's anything I want to say to females is that we need to look after ourselves a lot mm. because if we don't, if we live long to 50, 60, we will see it. In fact, some 40 something year old women now, they now have these problems. So there's constant knee pain. Some, some things aren't even arthritis yet. There's constant knee pain, constant shoulder, shoulder pain, back pain, too much stress. Mm. And they don't take care of themselves. They will still, in fact, with too much stress, their husbands will book massage for them. They'll be asking, is how much did my husband pay for this thing? Exactly. <laughs> Very annoying. I'll be like, ah, yeah, because I know the next thing you want to say, so I'll be like, don't worry, my hair paid. And but so the next time I want to book it, how much? If I tell them, ah, really? <laughs> wow. Hey, Trouble. it's good though. It's good. They just say it's good though. <laughs> but like, like, I've had men tell me, don't tell my wife. Next the time, price. don't tell my wife the price. Mm. Usually, Igbo women. Hi. Igbo women don't... Eh? Do you know money. how much that money... Do you know what that money would do inside this house? Yeah. And a lot of them use pain relief meds. And that's very bad. Except you are on some special prescription from a doctor. You should not be using pain relief meds. It's not good. But I, I feel that's, that's the closest they can get at that point in time. And because they are not well, well educated enough to know that. So, I used to use pain relief meds, and okay. I think, I don't know if it's one that caused it, but I think my blood pressure spiked at some point when okay. I was in school. I, was, I, I used pain relief meds like every other day, because I'm always reading, mm. and then I'm always, so I use the med for, to sleep, and then to relieve pain. It's called same pain nights. I used it throughout, maybe like first three years of school. Wow. Yes, I was completely addicted to it. Maybe not addicted, I don't know, because now I'm over it. Yes, yeah. yeah, so I would say that it numbs your pain. It numbs your whatever. You are better off exercising. You're better off stretching. You're better off telling your husband to help you stretch your feet, tell your children to help you step on your back. Mm. You're better off. Or just sleep. But for most married women, sleep is not like exactly what you can easily achieve. Trust me. Children are coming back from school, all of that. But no matter what, if you use pain relief meds all the time, I don't know. It messes you up. There, is, there are no two ways about exactly. it. It messes you up. And, and the truth is, you know, especially as married women, you have a whole lot. You want to take up every other person around you except you. I have a few married clients that their husbands have put them permanently on massage schedule. Wow. Yeah. So what twice a month, the, they paid for it. It's not about well, because the husband before booking twice for his wife, he has gotten five. Yeah, but because so but because he, he knows two, he probably exactly. knows she might never do that. You well. understand? So come to my wife. Come to my wife. Come to my wife. Yes, they pay for it. Women will not pay. Mm. Even when they book for themselves, I would. It's the husband that will pay. And I mean, it's okay, it's our nature as mm. women, but we need to do better, especially Nigerians. Abroad, it's not like that. 
especially in US and UK at this because I trained in those from schools in those places. It's natural for them to get massages. It's in their budget. Mm. The Every, same way vacation is their budget too. Yeah. Well you know in, in this part of the world we are thinking of I want to buy land. I want to buy a house. Take care you of know. yourself. So they are moving from they own a house, they are thinking of the next house to buy. Yeah. It, and I'm wondering you can only sleep in one. I'm not saying you can't buy if you can afford it, right? But what is the use of you saving so much and having houses? But you're not enjoying your money. I always tell my children, see, before I die, I will eat my money. Yes, sir. I will eat it. By all means. Don't think mommy has one house. <laughs> I will see, I will say that as I will eat my money. Yes. Let me let me go to the best restaurant and spend my money. Because next of kin may, may be one person that does not care about how much, how you made your money. Have you even noticed that people who own houses in those days, most of their kids don't even live there? Yeah. Because they can't even live there. They've yeah. moved on to buy their yeah, own houses. Better houses. So who are you waiting for? <laughs> you know? And you're like, oh, this is for my children. My we children. Yeah. My husband will say, oh, are you praying your children should be poor so that they can come and live in your house? You don't pay for them to have their own money and build a better house than what you have. Really, my dad was talking to me about house, about... Okay, I think he... Like, I'm not supposed to say this on TV, but <laughs> he asked me that... He lay in saying, where, how do we... Um, do it. How do we do? Two people are three. I don't know. I don't want controversy between my children. I said, Daddy, what are you talking about? Which house? <laughs> he said, Ah, yes, now. So, you know, I'm, I'm writing my will. I want to know. Ah, will it with the other children? No. I don't need it. <laughs> I told him. I said, Will it with them? He was like, Ah, you work on the first one because I'm the first born. He was like, I said, I don't know. I'm a woman. I'll go to my but husband's house. Which, which house? <laughs> You know, because I have some, a younger there's, brother. There's some things you fight for. Yeah. There's some things you are not even bothered about. Exactly. Like this house. Have you seen what I'm doing? The building? house is, your, is for you. It fits you. Yeah, you, you did the it for you. The picture that I am going to... This Sorry, is not, this is not, it's not in the picture. <laughs> you know? So you say... Oh, and then I'm even going to my husband's house. What about really? rent I'll be getting from this in the future? I don't think I want it to matter. So give it to the... How much will you, how much will it be? For so okay, imagine you want to go on vacation with the family, two kids, your husband. That money cannot buy one person's ticket. No. In this Nigeria of now, correct. I don't know about future, but that money cannot buy one mm -hmm. person's ticket. And so you are feeling like, oh, my father has a house, so I don't have to bother. I'm waiting for my father's inheritance. Inheritance go. Go. Well, it depends on inheritance. So some fathers have old money. Yeah. And no, th th those are men who build their money over time. Yeah. And even whether you wear the property or not, you know, they keep crediting your account. Mm -hmm. That's the kind of inheritance I want. Credit me. Yeah. Don't be me too. <laughs> Sell your house. You now get that, that you're money. alive. You know, credit my account. Finance me. You Thank know. you, sir. <laughs> I would rather put my, do Put that. my name in one investment yeah. where, you know, where they pay me every month. Mm -hmm. You know, even if it's, even if it's, you know, um, what they call it now, even in an estate. You just buy another with a group of people, let them be paying me monthly. It's okay. I don't want any house. It's the money. Because you outgrow certain things. And trust me, you know, like what we are saying, a lot of people are so stressed out yeah. that they do not have time to take care of themselves. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, for instance, look at the guy who died in his car on the road. Um, I think chairman of VGC or something. He's a young guy. He's not even up to 40. And he just in his car like that. And then you're wondering with all the money, you know, what could have gone wrong? He probably was stressed out, you know, but people feel because you have money, your life is easy. No, your life is, I feel the more money you have, the, the more, more stress, you know, the more stress you get. Yeah. Because one, you want to maintain that level or you want to go higher, mm -hmm. you know, and so you don't want to go sleeping off, yeah. having fun mm -hmm. and spending what you have without multiplying it, yeah. you know, but someone who is on the low level, they are okay. That's why I see a lot of, there was this, um, there was this, um, what do you call it now? Uh, I'm trying to remember the word, right? That was done on a group of people. And they found out that poor people come back home to sex. They have nothing they are doing. There's no TV. There's nothing to take their mind. There's no social media. So the only thing they have access to is their woman and sex. That's why you have, you see a whole lot of them have so many kids. But a rich man, comes back, he has work, he has meals, he has meetings, he, he has a whole lot to mm -hmm. do. And then the last thing he's thinking of sex. is how he wants to sleep with his wife four or five times. If he even gets once a day, 
be grateful. And yes, they're not even available. Yeah. From one traveling, they come back to the, you know, they are gone. And, and that reminds me of, you know, a woman who came to Lagos for a few days. I'm like, so I suppose I can't wait to go back. I want to have sex. I missed my husband. Guess what? She flew into Abuja that morning, you know, in her head. She was going for sex. She got home. I'm like, ah, baby, why are you now? I'm home. I'm like, ah, I'm on my way to Enugu. Enugu as in Like, how? I don't understand. You were home this morning. <laughs> That's it. I got a call. She was so angry. She called me crying. How can I stay for days and I'm back and he's not here? I said, Madam, calm down. He's not dead. Go and carry a vibrator. He's your husband. He said, It's not the same thing. I wanted him. Do you know what it means for me to come back to want a man? Okay, mm -hmm. man. He's still the money that he has gone to look for. Is <laughs> you that have suspended it? Yes, so. You know? So I'm like, Okay, I don't want money. I just want to get fucked. Ah. At this point, I cannot help you. I don't have a pick. There's nothing I can do. So the only advice I can give is go and get your toy. Yeah. And sort yourself. You know, it's really not an easy thing, but I feel we need to get to that point where we realize that we come first. Mm -hmm. You see, this same body we use every time to look for money for money. And sometimes, because we are not careful enough, the body breaks down. Mm -hmm. And that money you have saved for something, for that land, for that thing, before you know, you're buying one drug or the other. Yeah. And you can't price these drugs. No. You can't price these drugs. But when it comes to much, you're saying, ah, damn, 50k. Fear God, man. This... I don't charge up to 50k, though. I mean, averagely. It depends on the area. It could do. Nah. <laughs> it depends on the area and it depends. So different clients pay different amounts. Mm -hmm. So, again... So what's the minimum we can get of you if we have to, you know, probably home service or something? If I want it done. The list is... And the closest place to you. 40. Okay, let's say 35, depending on... Please, so that's, that would be... That would be like, job. That was Swedish massage, and that's like 45 minutes. What's your between 45 and 50? I didn't say 45, I said 40. Uh, average, 40 and 50? Average. 40, what's different between 40 and 50? There's a difference. They owe 10K. <laughs> me, that, me that I'm calling for 40K, I cannot afford 10K. No, well, if you want to pay me 50, I'm okay. I love it. I'll take it. Maybe we shall not quit this job like this. <laughs> Please, I'm also doing massage. <laughs> My hands are very gifted. Very good. Very good and soft. Let me, let me show your hands. No, they're not soft. Why? I don't know. You've done, natural. You've, you've done so much. My uh, palms are, I think my palms are naturally just not soft. Maybe that's why your massage is good. <laughs> Probably. No, my, my hands yeah. are soft on the body. No, but I the can firmness. Switch. The yeah, firmness. The that's, that's what I'm talking about. The firmness. It's not like mine. Right. Yours can also be. It depends. It's technique. It doesn't. It's not the. It's not the, the texture of the power. They are calling you back. It's the texture. It's like saying, oh, if I cook still, put maggi, put everything. If I do the same, I won't get the same flavor and the same smell. It still goes back to. No, naturally. I do massage well. Mm. I can say that my my clients are watching. I posted this flyer. They are watching me right now. Dear clients. And I can say with my full chest. I do massage well. And how do I know that I do massage well? My results. Do you understand? So mm. between the before and after of my clients or of my sessions, there's a lot of difference. So many feedbacks. So many results. And then mm. people call you back. And then I get recommended a lot. I get referred a lot. So that's, that's the basics of... of exactly. And no matter how much I charge, I get paid. So, so, so you don't just do massage. Do you deal with all the people? Yeah. You know, you know. For instance, you helped your friend heal faster. Mm -hmm. So, do you do this? You know, on the medical basis, or okay, you have an issue. Um, I don't think I do on a medical basis a lot of times. Mm -hmm. I would cite an example. There's an artist in Nigeria. I would not mention his name, but he's a, he's my client. Mm -hmm. When I met him in 2021, he had insomnia. So he never sleeps. <laughs> and the, sleep. the reason for his no sleep was because over time, from studio to show, exactly. to this, to body that, has so his body has adapted to no sleep. But then, he, of course, weight gain and all of that. So first time I massaged him, he slept. Ah, ah. Damn. Ah. What did you do? <laughs> then he called me again like two days later. He slept again. 
So we started doing mas his own massage every other day. Mm. To make him sleep. He just enjoyed, and because of course he can afford it. And he could afford it at the time. So we did massage every other day. I would say that we did every other day for like one year straight. Wow. However, about the eighth or ninth month, um, he didn't need me to be coming every other day anymore. Because Why? His because his body has now his body now sleeps. So any day I don't come, he sleeps. Then he just tell me to still come again. So for him, he enjoys my massage, but mm. I know that I was helping him improve on his sleep. Mm. So about maybe the eleventh or the twelfth month. I called him, like I sat him down. Ah, I speak Yoruba with him, right? Because he's an adult. He's like 50-something now. So I, speak, I said, have you noticed that your sleep has changed? Said, ah, before. Why do you think I'm always calling you? <laughs> I know. See, now I sleep. Now if I sleep, eh, Jesus. my phone will ring. I'll not even pick it. But I said, yes, I've noticed. I said, this is, massage is good. See, now your blood pressure can be normal. He said, yes, it's true that it was very high before, but I think it's normal now. Actually, it's normal now. So, he's not in the current country currently. Mm. Um, anytime he comes. Damn it! Ma, 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 ma. <laughs> <laughs> so, he will call me when now he sleeps. Mm. Because I think he only traveled in 2023, maybe early 2023. Mm -hmm. But up to the time he traveled at least once a week, no matter what. When he comes up from his shows, he gets massage. Whatever he does, he gets massage. You understand? And yeah. So 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 it helps to so it helps for him, it helps to to help him to sleep better. Yeah. For a lot of people it helps them to sleep better. So maybe I can say that maybe that's something medical ish. But not exactly. So those are some of the uh, impact of massage. Then we have a lot of pain relief. So I have clients that have most of the complicated problem clients. Well, jobs I do yeah. are jobs with arthritis, especially for females and the knee. It's so always it very work? yeah. It won't cure. Of course. But it helps you manage it better. Mm. You are better off getting massage at least. So for the women, maybe twice a month that they usually get, they are better off now than when they weren't getting massages at, at all. all. You understand? So they get massage and then they get physio like twice a week. So if the therapy is cheaper, in the hospital you probably get for 5K, 8K, 10K for, physio, for one physiotherapy yeah. session. Then So they always go for then massage. They do it to relax because physio and massage, they're different. Sure. Almost yeah. similar but different. But it's not the same. Mm. So they help you like stretch and all of those things. Massage is all encompassing. So it's more expensive than physio. But I guess the amount you spend on physiotherapy in a month is also so but technically and basically just taking care of yourself um helps you, helps your health. And massage is massage I would say personally, I know what massage does for me. Mm. I can if I don't get massage, tonight I have to get massage. Before I sleep, but otherwise I'll not. I'll, I'll wake up, but my waking up tomorrow You'll morning, be, I'll not be doing any job for like the first six hours. My my shoulders will be aching. There's so much tension. So what happens when you now get married? I guess when we get to that bridge, we'll cross it. But the husband will learn the job. Oh, if not, he's not going to trouble. No, 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 he will. He probably does already. If he, if if you are seeing me, okay. <laughs> she has, she has. You don't need to ask questions. She has given you that hint that I know who she's going to get married to. I know him. Really? Kn uh -uh. How? We know what he does for a living. What does he do? No, uh -uh. he's not a massage. I cannot marry him. Why? Why? I'm massage. He's massage. Uh -huh. You massage, massage now. No, it's not easy for men. Why? Why is it not easy for men? Ah, that's the long story, but. Jealousy, <laughs> jealousy. So it's it's okay for you to massage people, right? No, when I get married, there'll be some moderations, there'll be some modifications. How? That. Of course, I can't do home service. Why can't you do home service? Why? Sometimes my home service ends at two a.m. So you, you a. might you might not be able to do the late hour thing. Yeah. Of course, you already have staff who can. The know. home services I'll be doing when I get married, except he allows me. Mm -hmm. To just do whatever I like, but I, I I want to be advanced by the time I 
get there. So I have my own structure and spa. So any home service I want to go and do there for my premium. That's what I'm saying. So regardless of how high you want to be, you will have clients who will follow you that, that high. Yeah. Like, you know what, I don't care. Yeah. I still want you. Yeah. You know, okay, you want to be me one million. Mm -hmm. uh, it's you. That that's, I, that's why as master therapist, we have to marry secure men. Exactly. So that's very, the point, right? It's like saying important. that, oh, um, because I'm into sex, I can't marry a certain man so that they don't feel like I'm going to be dealing with other men. I do a lot of bula. <laughs> I do a lot of, you know, relationship, marriages, you know. Sometimes you have to actually do certain work on certain people, uh -huh. right? But you see, when a man is not secured, he's on you. No matter what job you're doing, for an insecure man, exactly. you have a problem. That, that's that's that's. I wasn't thing. doing massage when I my first boyfriend ever. Ah, fully one hundred and ten percent insecure. Mm -hmm. So we'd always have problems. I can't talk to people in my class. Ah. I can't do so much. So that means you cannot wear shorts. You can as long as another boy is because if another boy is looking at you, you fight. Ah. So me that we are, I I, I remember someone came to my store like three weeks ago, and he looked at me and said, so spent. This unique is not unique, you know. <laughs> this one is beyond this thing now. Hey, my woman, don't you feel like your husband will feel? I said, which husband? The one who helped me earn you this money. <laughs> or the one that was coming behind me when I was going to the car. He practically carried my daughter, and I was in front of him. Yes, now. He wasn't blind when I yes, left. Now. We left home together. Because he knows you. And he trusts like, you. I don't think you have to explain things to him. Nah. I said, I don't I know care. who I married. I'm I, sorry. I said, can't you see what I sell? Do you think any normal person will be selling pre? That's why I say it. I, when many people ask me, how does your boyfriend cope? I'm like, cope with what? I don't date people that don't know me. Exactly. If you cannot handle me, then, you, then leave you, it. You even have to first know me, naturally, that this girl, she's, she's calm. And then yeah. sexually, she's not loose. So if you know your woman like that, and then I look, I, I, I'm very, very careful. I look out for people that are, in, that are very, very secure. Mm. I'm sorry, if you're not secure, if you're jealous. I've not dated a jealous guy in probably seven years now. That, that's, trust me, it, it, And not like they are not jealous at all. It gives, a guy no, that is not no, jealous. any man, every, every, every man. I'm going for a massage. He's asking, is he man, is he woman? Yeah. I lie, I've not tried it. I think I the only this thing work. my husband is always skeptical about is when I have to do home service. Yeah, for them too, he's, yes. He's wondering, okay, can I get the location? You know, when you're there, can you send me your location? Mm -hmm. Send me your live location for the next eight hours. Yeah. Let me know when you're there. Let me know when you leave. Yeah. Because for him, like, this is Lagos. Anything can happen. Yeah. You know. And I don't think he has ever felt like. What's she doing? Who are you going to? Let me see the chat. Let me see the picture. Let me... It's embarrassing. Honestly. He doesn't even know my password. <laughs> like, it's even embarrassing. I've told him that password like over a hundred times. It doesn't but remember say, it. Can you pass it? <laughs> Uncle. Sometimes I have to tell him his number. Okay, this is your number. Like, eh, okay. The only number he practically knows is my number and I think... My daughter's number, you know, off heart. You know, so what am I trying to say is, regardless of where you find yourself, some people work in the bank and their partners are still very insecure. Very insecure. And these are people who cover up, who wear, you know, yeah. gowns, you know, you practically, you know, everything is covered up. Mm -hmm. And the man is saying, who was that? Who called you? Sometimes 2 a.m. I'm still on the phone. Mm -hmm. If I have, if I have to do courses or class with my clients or have a session, most of them abroad is 11 a.m., 12 a.m., 1 a.m., yeah. And I'm locked up in, in the room. I enter, I lock the door, I do my thing. My mother does not come. Who is there? For what? Yeah. When I finish, I finish. Yeah. And you cannot ask me what we talked about. Mm -hmm. It's confidential. Ah, I just finished with the client. Eh, husband or wife or couple. couple. You can't because it I feel like there. in our lines of work, uh, privacy is, is, is. Of course. Priority. It's, it's, you can't tell me something. I'm going to tell my husband. Yeah. No. I, did, I finished the cup. It was fine. It ends there. You don't when come first, to ask me breakdown of what happened fact, When we first started massage back then, so I used to have a lot of massage therapists team. Okay. okay. Um, so we would normally just gist about What's our happening? work, right? Somebody can come to the ah, you almost you know raped me or something. We talk about our experiences, yeah. right? 
until one time I went to do a massage with um, a lady. She's not exactly my team. She's okay. just someone I know, but she was the one available that night. Okay. So we went for this massage somewhere. It was a group massage. And then apparently she does happy ending. And oh. I was aware. Okay. I work with some of these therapists also sometimes that do happy ending. But nowadays, I think I've stopped. I've not taken any happy ending order because it's even stressful. <laughs> they send the picture of the therapist, send this, send that. At the end of the day, they'll be like, no, it's you I want. Ah. Like, I don't even have time to chat. <laughs> I yeah, answered so you. <laughs> I answered you. And then you send picture, send name. Is she fine? Send me another picture of her. Maybe this is not real, blah, blah, blah. <sighs> but because me, all my pictures are on, on my page. Yeah. They can see me. So this girl, we went. And then at the end of the massage that night, she came. I can't remember what year. That was 2022 or 2021. And then she said, she said, I'm, I'm very disappointed in that client. I said, why? I said, can you believe, I gave him a hand job, but as tall as he is, his dick is very small. I'm sorry. I said, what? <laughs> like, that like, was the last time like I he... ever opened my mouth to talk to discuss our experiences okay. with any therapist anymore. But that night, I'm older than her, right? Mm -hmm. So I told her, I said, do you know our line of work? Do you know I know that man? I'll see him again. Mm. You probably see him again. Now that you have told me, when you see him, the first you that, that as tall as he is, why would you say <laughs> a thing like that? So I thought, I told that no, 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 no. Let this be the last time mm. you ever discuss what a you see mm. in the room. Whatever we do in the room with our clients Ends stays in the room. Mm. Don't open your mouth mm. next time ever. I now figured. I'm also not exactly innocent of this thing, although I don't discuss my clients, no. right? Yeah. But I listen to, we all gist. It's, it's normal. It's our job, right? So we gist as girls. But since then, no girl, no team, no body. I don't mm -hmm. want to hear what happened. Except it's horrible. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Yeah. I've had recently one of, one of my team members, but the person wasn't my client. Okay. Uh, he was into BDSM. Yeah. Oh, okay. So she got to the job. She got to his hotel. Apparently, the person that booked her didn't told, give her enough information. Yes, and then also told the client that she was open to whatever. Oh. So she got to the hotel, and then the guy brought out a belt. Okay. And he had a whip. Yeah. Whip. <laughs> she was. <laughs> she's open to happy ending. But she has never been into BDSM. But don't, but don't, flog. don't flog me, dear. <laughs> <laughs> let's touch, let's oh, caress, yeah. let's. Yeah. Don't flog me. I'm a sweet baby girl. Oh, God. Sweetheart. So, um, I don't know. It was a very horrible night. I don't think I want to wow. talk about But the, the man beat her. Yeah. And then he tore her clothes. Oh. It, he tore her t shirt. So that's. that's... It was a hotel. It was one hotel somewhere in Aja or something. I don't. Mm. She she deleted the number. I told I told her no. We have to follow this. Or we have to like report. She said, yeah. "Dami, I deleted the trauma because I don't want to remember it." I said, "A client beat you for crying well, out well, he's loud." Do to somebody else. Yes. Yeah, so we should have reported. And of course, she didn't tell me immediately. Anyway, she told mm. me about like like she didn't she couldn't walk for like a week because wow. he tried to force himself in. It was there that it was now tearing her shirt. Just speak to a prostitute on the road. It's, yeah, prostitutes are not, not all prostitutes to be the SM. Yeah, but of course, there are sites that you can just... So I it, find it was the that... person's fault. The person that referred her to him, that was the person. Oh, who didn't... Oh. She is into BDSM. So she oh, wasn't she, around. Oh, she has been doing it with him. Yes, she wasn't around. So she, t she called this girl oh. to go and do the massage. Without, Without telling this her... girl that this guy is into BDSM. Oh. And then, of course, she told this guy, she's open to whatever. Because apparently they've done happy ending together with the And the guy will be angry. That's a page you don't want to do. You understand? Yeah. No, not even the payment. It's the fact that he was... You know how these BDSM people are? Well, I don't know if you know how they are, but... <laughs> Some of them. They are, they are very... I don't know. No, but basically, BDSM does not... So he had expectations yeah. that night. She couldn't meet them. He got angry. 
Now his anger was normal. The beating was normal mm. for him, but she felt he was angry. Probably the beating turns him on. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I've never been people, there. <laughs> no, there, there are some people that you know. Um, I've had one or two people like that where, yeah. if you don't slap them, you know, pull their hair, and give them a blow, they won't be turned on. They're not turned on. You know, I once had the first thing, so I cannot touch that girl again. God do help all of us. <laughs> He's trying to sleep with her. Get like, no, no, it's not fun. Hit me. And he's trying to, you know, hit me. No, hit me. He said the way he just gave her to out of her, like, are uh, you mad? <laughs> yes, that's it. Give me more. Eh? <laughs> the guy said, he broke up immediately. Like, no. I can't be hitting a because woman. Because I had to beat you practically. And then the girl had to show him all the marks on her back. Nah. That it turns her on. It makes her feel like, oh, she has so much she has to respect. Yeah. Like, ah. They get energy from, so from spice. Those... this one. Cannot make heaven. Because even God will not recognize her body at the end of the day. You know, so for, for some people, there are people who are into different types of kinky kind of sex. Right? Um, I'm not judging you. I'm not better, right? But the truth is they just need to find their type of people. Yeah. I remember on this show one time I brought in I have the, so there's a kink there's a kink community. In Nigeria, Lagos, yeah. right? Where if you are into kink, you join them. Yeah. And so they came on my show and they, were asked, they asked me, when they, the, the first time they asked me what's the worst thing that I, I think I can't do. And so I said, I can do every other thing, but electrocuting. Uh -uh. Electrocuting? Yeah, I don't want that to. That one too? Yeah. And so when they uh -huh. came, the next, the, the next time they came on my show, they came with, with their toy. And so they placed on my hand and, you know, you they strapped shock. it. Oh, damn. The first one was very easy. You know, they put it on. I just feel very small, small. Shock. You know, shock. I'm like, oh, is this is Oh, go to Because I like, if I want to die, let me die for a sec, but not like electrocuting and, you know, I'm going to say, ah, my love, my love, what, what brought you here? Ah, hello. They shocked me, you know. You know? <laughs> and then they moved to level two. It was still, i like, why, were, why did they allow them to use it? Like it was just a small thing. I, I, I've always wanted to experience it. Hey. But the fear of death, you know, I always say, I won't do you it. You did not have an electric cooker. This. <laughs> no, no. That one has shocked no, me more than enough for in my beach. life. I will even, so by the time they're like, oh, you're not feeling I said, no, I feel, but it's not it bad. is what you're talking about. I can do this one. I don't know. Um, the guy moved it to like no. number six. And the thing went from my hand. To the over there. Into my brain. They not teach me two seconds. I pulled it up. I told you guys, thank you for this experience. Till I die. <laughs> Till I die. Nothing. I didn't have the experience. You know, so for him, I was like, oh no, it's not that bad. That was because he jumped. If he had continued from one to two, I was saying, there's nothing. So even when I start to feel something, it won't be that harsh. Or like when he just jumped from two to six. Like, that was like a proper shock. I said, you know what? Even with this one, thank you, Jesus. Never. Again. <laughs> we like, we're like, no, so, okay, let's try one to two. One to? <laughs> and uncle is okay like that. I'm not ah. into BDSM. So, it's for you. For me, you know, that's one thing I don't think I want to risk. Even though for them it's fun. You know, they have kink parties. And so when they do their kink it parties, them. you know, they tie themselves. There's even a particular babe. Her job is to tie. That's her profession. She ties people for a living. You know, in this Lagos. Tie people? Yeah, she's sexually. She'll be in the room with us. Yeah, she'll tie you. So you know, you know, tying has techniques. We love people don't know. You just buy BDSM kids yeah. and they tie themselves. No. I don't know. You don't just. <laughs> you don't just tie, right? Tying has techniques. The same way with spanking, it has techniques. Every other thing has techniques on how to do them. So the pressure is not too much, right? So her job is to tie people. She goes all out tying. If you have 10 mm, 5 mm, however long your rope is, she will tie you, you'll be comfortable, and you won't feel pain. Really? Yeah. You know they tie and hang people sometimes for yeah. sex. So you have to tie the person so that the rope does not get too, too into their skin blood. and stops blood from flowing. Yeah. So it's a technique. It's something people have to learn. You know, so that's her job. And so when they have their king parties, you know, they tie themselves up or one or two people. And so they start to use different things on that person. You know, and I'm like, that person must have 
enough shock absorber to do that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Because if you are not, if you cannot take in pain, then you can't do it. Because pain and pleasure goes together when yeah. it comes to a certain level of, kink, of sex, yeah. you know, not the normal BDS. And Nigerians are not into it. They don't know what BDS is. They just, they think it's flogged. You don't even, that whip is not even supposed to, you're not supposed to use to flog people, basically. Whip are supposed to be used to tease people, right? But Nigerians, because they've watched uh, Fifty Shades, you know, and those ones, they create movies for money. They're not Story creating, though. they're not telling you the truth about BDSM. Yeah. And I know this because I did some, I had, to, I, I took a course on BDSM on my how to run. I had to run. Because I realized that BDSM was actually made to heal people. To heal? Yes. They used BDSM to heal people. How? Uh, how do you heal from you know, so, so with BDSM, so if you have like, maybe like an addiction or a pending pain or something, they take you back. So they, with BDSM, they take you back to that moment. And they start to treat you with pleasure back to the present. It's, it's a whole lot. It's a whole lot. So even with BDSM, you don't have to be touched to get an orgasm. But a lot of people don't know. They just think, okay, hang off. I hang off you. So the reason why you have restraints, a lot of restraints in BDSM, is because they want you to feel the energy more. So when you have a handcuff and they tie you down, you can't move your hands. Right, you can't retaliate, so you are forced to take in the energy. If they tie your legs, you can't move. You are forced to take in the energy. You are forced to communicate. You are forced to emit them energy to energy, and you are forced to get your orgasm without being touched. So it's a journey, but you see, when here BDSM, the first that comes to a Nigerian person's head is, "Eh, you tie me down, <laughs> you flog me." You know, so it's 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 also the part of this is what we've been groomed to think it's supposed to be. But this is not what it's supposed to do. But then that's what they're practicing. That's what they're selling. Because they are there for, for money. It's like watching porn. If you watch porn, you never see anybody, you know, you don't see them have, or their penis drop halfway. You see strong penis. You see them, you know, heat and do everything. You don't see the reality in porn. Why? They are doing it for money. Mm -hmm. So there is porn for money. There is porn for porn. And they spawn for reality. Yeah. So porn for reality is porn side where you have real husband and wife have sex with themselves and sell to those people to mm -hmm. post on their page. So down if you want to watch real porn, where they will fall, they will wound themselves. You see the reality of, oh, you're not kissing me. Well. Oh, I'm tired or oh, they are sweating. But porn for money is the one they show you all the, I'm not going to call websites. You're waiting for me to call you. I'm joking. You know, all the websites they go to and they're seeing all clean. You know, the guy, the girl is sucking the guy and two seconds, the guy is all over. And then you go, you go and suck your husband one hour. You're not coming. You're, <laughs> you're, you're, you're wondering, uncle, won't you come? I'm doing the same thing now. You know, but, at, but if you look at it behind camera, the guy probably must have fucked someone and at the point of coming, they go back to, you know, front of camera and they start to suck yeah. till they come. So you see, so a whole lot of things are messed up when it comes to porn. And the truth is, uh, if you look at it from the religious part, you know, they tell you, oh, porn is bad. It's a no-no. But trust me, porn is also a teaching way, you know, to help people. I think because, it depends on the motive behind watching it. Yeah. It also depends on the kind of porn you're watching. You know, um, I always tell people, Religion will say don't have sex till your wedding night. But they do not at any point in time teach you what sex is. How to endure sex. They just say, okay, it's time. When he wants to open your leg, you know. I find that some couples are married a year, two years, no penetration. It's not entering. They, they are confused. You know, so, so what do we do? What do you do? Ah. Okay, you have to pay for me to teach you. Man. They're not teaching you in church. Ah, well, my job is to teach you, you know. And, and it, the same thing happens when it comes to massage. You know, and who we are as human beings, right? We are too level-headed to say we've been groomed to believe property, 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 property. You know, show me what you have, buy cars, you know, live your life. But we have not been trained to take good care of ourselves. Yeah. Watch people abroad. Once they have one house, they live there for life. Mm -hmm. They are not in a hurry to live on the island, mainland. Nigeria want to have ten houses. You know, they politicians are having how many? They are, they are owning an estate. How many children do you have? Somebody paid for his children's school fees. School fees in 20, how many, how many years? 
that those children would have left that school and you are paying in dollars in the same country we don't have money. <laughs> Do you understand the madness? The year that you know, those children will be out of that school, mm -hmm. you are paid beyond university. And then what are we talking about? You know, and then you and I are sitting there saying, should please go and get a massage, you know. Which massage? You know, they'll ask you where is the money. Yeah. Even those who have the money will say, ah, so I'm not so not enlightened. That means I'll not give fifty K. Just for one hour how to learn you. Ah, do you know how many blocks that fifty K will buy? You know, so it goes back to the mindset yeah. and you know the mentality we have. Those who practically pay you weekly, it's not like they have so much money. You know, for me, I, I feel it's just priority for them. Exactly. I know what? Exactly. My body comes first. This body gives me life. They know what it does for them. Exactly. You know, so it's it's a whole lot. But I, I feel like we probably maybe with this, one or two people, you know, would have changed their minds and said, ah, okay, maybe it's time for me to start, you know, paying attention to the body. Because trust me, I don't. Me, the attention I pay to my body is eating well. I can eat in English. I mean, if it works for you, but it does not work for you me. have to be. That means it does not work for me. <laughs> Let the massage. So I, I, I used to, you know, do a lot of exercise, riding bicycle. You know, I do that a lot. People know me for a workout. But, you know, after I had my baby, she's a year plus now, I'm not her time. Who would I leave her for? You know, so I'm asking, my mom, let's ride by school. Ride school, how? Where do we put a year and four months? When we are riding by school, who's going to take care of her? You know, so it's a whole lot for women. I really want to go back to my sport life. I really want to do a whole lot of things. You should, once your body is uh, back to normal. My body is back. Okay. So but who do, I, who do I leave her for? You can just take a walk around the house. It's not the same thing. I, mean, I love my one hour. You know, one hour you are blasting music. You know, you're alone. Sometimes 5.30 a.m. or 10 p.m. When nobody's stopping you. You know, I can dance on the street and start. You can imagine. I can, do you understand? So, it's a whole lot. And especially for women, it is not as easy as people think it is. It is easier for a man. Mm -hmm. Way easy. You know, a man can just say, I'm going to the bar. Friends, you know. I'll be, I'll be, I'll be late. You say you relate when you have two or three children at home, you know. So it's it's a whole lot. So before before we come to an end, right? Let me ask you, what would be your advice to people at home, you know, when it comes to massage? What would you say to them that you think they need to hear? Um. Okay. So everybody needs a massage. Mm. Like I said, if you can afford it, get it. If you cannot afford it. Try if it doesn't. It doesn't have to be professional massage all the time. Get someone to, although careful ones. But if you're feeling pain, instead of resorting to uh, pain relief med, just get someone to help you. Like just manipulate that part of the muscle a little bit. Not because anything rigorous can harm you. Then you need to set aside a. You need to have a budget for these things for taking mm. care of yourself. So, people that have budgets for it, 100k this month goes into either massage or goes for some dining. people, it can be uh, going into the sauna in a, in a spa, and of course like 15, 20k. Yeah, you just I sit think there so, for an hour. Your body takes all the heat in, you know, it brings out all the, there's no toxin in your body, but yeah. Just, it, just, it just relaxes a lot of people. So, you need to have a budget for it. And if you can't, like I said, get someone to always. So, but don't. I want. I want to start doing a campaign where we sensitize people on the dangers of consistent pain relief meds. Mm. You have to, except you are on it. Except you have something you're treating your body, and your doctor actually gave you a pain relief med. Please stay away. Stay away as much as possible. In the long run, you'll be grateful you did. If you continue. 40, 50, you'll be dealing with a lot. You'll be spending too much money. You'll be giving up on life at some point. I have clients that used to say some things. And they just want to go. Mm. You understand? And I would say that if this person was, at, was taking care of himself or herself at 20-ish, 30-ish, um, they would not be where they are right now. You understand? Because as our, as our body ages, we need to care for it more. You understand? A baby doesn't need a massage as much as a teenager does. A teenager doesn't need as much as I do. So do you do for kids too or just parents? I don't exactly do for children.
I can teach a mother to, to massage her, or her children. I just tell them to watch YouTube. We just do normal. Something. Children are not as stressed as adults are. Mm. But everybody can get a massage. We do for children sometimes in a family package. Okay. So there's oh, family, okay. package. family package. Yeah, okay. so you massage husband, wife, and then the children. So for the children, maybe 10, 10 minutes each. Nothing serious. We can't expose children the way we expose mm. adults and all that. So yeah, parents are also careful around you touching their children. Sure. So it's not exactly all the time that we get orders to massage children. Mm. So generally, take care of yourself. Get massages. Get me to massage you. Basically. <laughs> trust me, that's, that's the word. Get me to massage you. Get a good therapist. If you're not in Lagos, get a very good massage therapist. If try not to. Do. So when you're looking for a massage therapist, try not to look for uh, hot bodies. The exposed. Those people are not exactly massage. They are imposters. Mm. 90s. More than I, well, maybe eighty-ish percent of massage therapists in Lagos are imposters. They are not therapists. They are not trained to give massage. They are sex workers or people that are not professionally sex workers, but they just see money in massage. Mm -hmm. So when you invite them to your hotel, you will see for yourself this one does not know what she's doing. So she's she's just impersonating. Touching you. Yes, just pouring oil on your body, touching you. Waste one hour. They even have long nails. When you start saying long nails on the massage therapist, it's for your nails. It will enjoy your skin. Mm. Look out for them. Ask around who is a good massage therapist. That's how to get good massage therapists. There are, there are good ones around. So ask around, take care of yourself. And you'll be good. You live longer at 67. This man that I massage for hours mm. is close to his 60s, very fit. Wow. Fit. He's been getting massage for more than 30 years. You tell me, dummy. Um, before you were born, I've been getting massages. Can you imagine? Yes. So it's and, very fit. And then you be, you want to follow that kind of person, not knowing yeah. you know your secret behind yeah. you know why they live yeah. now. So it increases your fitness, helps you just to live better, basically. Your blood pressure will be normal. No insomnia, no nothing. A lot of benefits. You should read about massage if you don't know how it goes. So trust me, um Dami has said a whole lot and the truth is this if you really want to heal without meds. Dami is your way out at this point in time, right? You're not sleeping well, constant headache, BP, you know, um, just imagine how much you spend on those drugs, right? Just decide, okay, you're buying drugs for two months, and the third month, use that money to invite Dami over, right? And see the difference. Um, and this is not me blowing her trumpet, trust me, but this is me saying that you can do better to that body that gives you life. You can live longer if you do take good care of that body. I understand you want to own all the house and all the cars and everything, but also remember the stress you go through on a daily basis. The bumps, the traffic, you know, the sun, the Lagos. you know, ah, express, ah. Being in Lagos alone is it's, enough it's a to whole get lot, massage. You know? So those are the things you want to also think about. And I'm going to advise, so, uh, I'm going to advise you all to incorporate massage into your life even if it's once a month i know the money might be big for you but try it and see the difference in your body in your sleeping pattern and in your life at it all nothing stops you from taking one hour off in a whole month to say thank you to your body and that's how i see it if you say thank you to your body the body is well relaxed to give you back good health and good life on this i want to say thank you so much for joining um, we're going to be coming your way again, same time, same station next week. Remember, you can have a replay of this particular episode. For those whose husbands are not home, your wife is not home, and you want them to listen to this, please watch the replay of this episode within the week and during the weekend so that your partner gets a feel of all we have said. I can't wait to see you again, same time, same station next week. Love you all, and have a fantastic night. Bye.